but I have them in my closed guard. The first thing I really want to do, I want to get all this ready here, okay? I need to break his posture, okay? You have to kind of understand, there's big movements, small movements. When you make small movements, you do it when they're kind of making big movements. Otherwise, you have to match up big movement and big movement. When they're making small movements, your strategy should be make a bigger movement. It'll stop them from making small movements, okay? You have to kind of also look at the person and you have to understand. If they're looking down, their head is already breaking posture for you. They're doing like half the work for you, okay? So what I want to do is I want to break his posture so I can get my grips. There's two ways I'm going to do it. Keep your posture. Is like this, which is not much of a grip. This doesn't do anything for me. Or I'm going to grab both collars here, okay? I'm going to elevate my hip and I'm going to pull them in. So his hands are committed here, okay? A couple things I can do. I understand one thing. If his hands are on the same line, all I got to do is think there's a plane right here. If I move his head across that plane, he's going to lose his posture. But I'm not going to be just pulling like this. I'm going to pull in and crunch, and my knees are going to bring him in. And his posture is broken. He has to regain posture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this kind of strap around the back of his head, okay, in order to open my chest and force him to struggle to regain posture. Regain posture, okay. You see how he really doesn't have much posture because his hands can't really do much. Why? Because I'm crunching and I'm keeping my head off the mat. When your head is doing this, it's it's a it's, that's it. I, I have nothing. Okay, because my core is disconnected. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get grips here, okay? I'm gonna pull him in so that this is committed here, okay? And now as I pull him in, he's got a better posture now because his hand, one's ahead, one's behind. So he's got basically a pyramid. One, two, three. Fairly stable. So now I gotta take this kickstand offline. Okay? If I pull him in, that's good for him. Because the more pressure he can create here the more he can control my hip. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift my feet and I'm gonna turn my toes to the right and I'm gonna take that kickstand offline and I'm gonna pull him down as I begin to climb my legs. Once again, I broke his posture. From here, I'm gonna pull him to the right, open collar, reach there, and I'm still breaking his posture because I know that he's gonna to wanna to regain his posture here, okay? From here, he begins to regain posture. I let him regain <coughs> posture with your right hand go. Yes, it's got to go there because this hand is free to be able to tap. Now, attack means that my right hand is deep enough to choke it. So my right hand is in a very good position here. So he blocks this here, hip, shoulder, knee. If you look at my hands, it's like I'm holding a stick and I'm trying to break that stick with my knee. Okay, this is what I'm doing with his shoulder here. My hand is on the elbow. I'm not just grab it on like this just to grab. Hit the three finger judo kind of grip right here. Where I'm using these three fingers and my thumb to open it up. I'm not squeezing. Okay? From here, I'm pulling him in to my knee. Why? So that he's connected to me. I asked him, Philip, can you reach my head? He can't really reach my head. Okay? From here, I spur his leg. Not on the mat, because he can step over easy. Yes, I spur it right along there. So that as I begin to arch away, and I can mount. Notice how my hips immediately connected here. I'm not doing any of this stuff right here. because This does absolutely nothing. This, this is a great way to lose a mount. There's no pressure, there's nothing. Yep. Notice the grip. Back up. This is true. Good. It's the same grip. The great thing about this grip is that I have a choke right here. Okay? Palm up doesn't work as well. It takes more to reach in there. This works very well. But for now, we're gonna talk about breaking posture. The new resets, get good posture. I need to move my hips. Look how my hips move. Look here, pull him in, he's committed. He can't let this go now. He has to now use it. But what happens if you let that go? I'm gonna collapse. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> Everything collapses. Buildings collapse, bridges collapse, bodies collapse, period, okay? Lift your legs, and I'm gonna bring this one down and turn my foot, look, see how my hips come out? That angle's completely off, look. I can bring him down here, look. If I reach here, look, 
Maybe. I could even come up over. You see that? Remember Kyle's seminar? Look. To wrap that around and finish a guillotine, maybe, if I get it. But if you notice, everything collapses. Posture, make it collapse. How do I make it collapse? A force, I understand one thing. Simple angles. This is a pyramid. One, two, three. If I pull him into either direction, where he's got a point of contact and stability, he's got base. But I need to pull him perpendicular to this line right here. So here, look. This point and the knee. Watch. My, and my knees are pinching a little bit, but notice how my legs are straight. So I can lift my hip up. Lift my hip up. And as I begin to turn here, see how my head comes off? And I go here, yes. Climb it up, up here. Guard is not squeezing him with my weak groin muscles. It's clamping the back and engaging your hips. Try to posture up. <laughs> it's tough, look, even better. Try to posture up, it's hard. But I'm gonna let him posture up after I move this to the right, open that collar, get that grip, yeah. He wants that because he doesn't want to get choked. From here, I move it across and I push. See, I pushed away. See, my hip came out, my knee comes in. Okay? If he wants to collapse my knee, because everything collapses, push in, it's a frame. Yeah. Okay? If he wants to back out, we're here. If he wants to back out, see how he's connected to my knee? If he wants to push back in, it's a frame. Hip, this still same grip. As I'm controlling that arm, you'll probably let go here. Yes, and I begin to bring this across. Yes, and pressure. Yeah, ho, 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 ho. Look at what we have here. Arm. I'll take that arm. He'll, he'll defend it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he can't let go. If he lets go here, let go. Let go, let go. Oh, it's, it's a done deal. He has to defend it. Go ahead, defend it. Look. Oh, oh that's the sound of reeling it in. I'm going to give you the bend. Hear that? Yeah. That's called reeling it in. Shoulders back. Look. I'm rocking the boat. I'm hipping it in. Keep it a bend. Yeah. Now, But, you know what all that started from? It was hip movement. So all I want you guys to do is break posture. Your partner's going to be making posture however they want. Look. Right here. Look. Hip in. Look. Broken. Free posture. Keep posture. Oh, <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, cause cause he can't move his hands. Yeah. His face is gonna and you gotta move your head out of the way up. See his face because because believe me, that forehead comes to my face, I'm gonna lose. But yeah, look. Okay. Go this way. Let it go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay? That's all posture. You know why? Because it collapsed. Everything collapses. Break posture, make it collapse. Hips, look. Look what I do. From here, look. Guard, slight little pinch. Hip, 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 hip. look. Hip. That's where arm walks come from. Hip, hip, hip. Here. Okay? Everything collapses. So what I want you guys to do is two hands, both on the same side. Let them posture. Feet. I'm gonna bring this one down. It goes to the right. I pull them. Okay? And then here. Collapse. We posture. Good. What you do this time? Look. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Got to push and pull them. Pull them. Pull them. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three. Posture three times. Everything collapses. Everything collapses.